Hello everyone. This is what we're going to make today. A vintage style text logo. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel, hit the like button, and set the alarm for my um, the latest video. And let's get started. Okay, first let's create a new Adobe Illustrator document. The document size is going to be a little bit bigger, the tabloid size. And landscape orientation. Create it. Let me zoom out a little bit. Okay, then now, um, first let me type the word. I typed Plymouth because this is the name of the town where I live. So you may type the name of your town. And then we need to change the typeface, the vintage style. So go to web page, the, the font.com, dafont.com. And then, under fancy category, you will see the other retro. Choose that. You're going to see a typeface is called Beardson's. I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. So um, please download this typeface and install on your computer. I already did it. So let me go back to my Illustrator. And then in my character palette, I'm going to change it to that. So it is pretty. And let me make it bigger, about that size. Okay. I'm going to make it slightly bigger than that. So next step is go to Type menu and Create Outlines. Then switch your the field color from black to white. And next step is we're going to create the kind of a black border around. So go to Object menu, Path, Offset Path. I'm going to enter 6 point. If you're looking for the, even the bolder, the thicker outline, you can increase the, uh, the offset uh, value, the bigger than 6. Then say OK. Then let me change my field color from white to black. So I have outline. OK, now deselect and select your letter, your word again. Go to Object menu and ungroup them. And deselect. This time, I'm going to just select a white field only of each letter. So first letter, just white inside. Hold down the Shift key so I can keep adding all white field. Okay. Then, go to Object menu, Path, and Offset path again. This time we're going to enter negative minus four point like that. And then you see the uh, white and uh, the blue path. We're going to have no field color and black stroke color. And the stroke weight, I'm going to increase it to maybe three. Okay. Do not deselect it. Still, those lines are selected. Now go to Object Menu, Compound Path, and make it. We're going to use it later. Now, deselect. Next thing is, I'm going to draw one long horizontal line by using the Align tool. And I'm going to have uh, 5 points to weight. Let me place it on the bottom line. And let me make a copy of this line to the top. Hold down the Option. Keep pressing your mouse button and the Shift key. And drag all the way to the uh, top to the letter. Top of the letter. Then, stroke weight down to 0.5. Okay. So it looks good. Now select the other both lines. So on my top line is selected already. Hold down the Shift key. Click on the bottom one. Then choose the, your blend tool. Click on the on that anchor point and the anchor point on the bottom line. So this is a default setting. I need to change the blend options. So double click your blend tool from your toolbox. Then choose the spacing options. Specify the steps. I'm going to enter 65 steps. 
So let me preview it. So that looks good. And OK. Then before you deselect this, let me zoom in even more so we can see the difference. Go to object menu. I'm going to expand it once. And one more time. So um, these are now series of rectangles. Okay. Then now go to object menu again, ungroup them, and object menu, scroll down, compound the path, and make it. All right. Then deselect it. Now this time, please choose the inner the black line we made as a compound path. Remember that? Then copy this and go to edit menu and paste in front. So what happened now is that compound path was copied and pasted on top of everything. Let me zoom out. See? Then hold down the shift key, click on the other lines, go to Pathfinder, choose the one, two, three, the third one, intersect. Isn't it cool? So we're almost there. We're almost there. Okay, next thing is I want to give some kind of thickness of this text. So let me choose the just outer black text. Let me zoom in so I can select it more accurately. Hold down the shift key. I keep adding the selection of that, those are the black letters. Okay, so they are all selected. Let me group them. It's okay. Go to object menu, arrange, send to back. So now it is behind. So still selected. Let me zoom in. Hold down the option. Keep pressing your mouse button and drag it. Maybe not too far. About this much. Okay. Then hold down the shift key. Select the, the original black text behind. So uh, two blacks are selected. Then choose the, your Blend tool again, click on that point, one of the letter, and the same point on the other bottom one. So um, the transition is not smooth at all. So um, double click your blend tool again, blend options. Let me enter, I don't know, maybe 30 steps. So it looks good. And say OK. Let me zoom out. Yay, we're almost there. We're there. Okay, select everything. I'm going to go to object menu and expand it. All right, so these are just the shapes now. Then let me add just one more thing. Kind of a little horizontal bar. Let me choose the, my rectangle tool, just a black fill and no stroke color. I'm going to draw one skinny and long black bar a little bit up like that and then I'm gonna make a copy of this to the bottom like that okay let me make sure this the yeah, my Plymouth text let me group them as a group and let me select everything as a group. Okay, so this is one now. Now go to uh, Effect Menu, Warp, and Rise. See? You can control this amount for the more distortion. I'm going to stick on there maybe 30% and say OK. 
let me move it up and let me go to object menu and expand it again expand appearance okay so we are almost done so it is done let me apply the, um, some kind of a different background so uh, you can download the image um, from the link I provided in my description and go to file place that image as the old paper uh, texture place it I'm gonna fill this entire document uh, there see let me make it fit fill the entire space there and then I'm gonna move it arrange center back so it looks okay let me select both then open the uh, transparency panel and change the, your, the blending mode from normal to multiply so it looks much better it looks like the uh, kind of uh, uh, old types on the uh, old newspaper okay so i hope that you enjoyed this video tutorial and that you can use it for your future project Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.